it on the app, on the screen, you get a chance to, to actually place it on different place of the screen, either it's on the top display or bottom display. And we also featuring a management tool to allow users to do window management. For example, like you, you, you can place the window on the first screen or the second screen or even both styles. And so it's in the, in the exchange. Yeah, it's changeable. And also, uh, on top of that, you get an opportunity to manage that through a very uh, inter intuitive in user interface. You can scroll that through uh, all the application windows open, and you can even match that uh, by doing side-by-side -side comparison simply so you using your finger. It's kind of more in, uh, directly engaging using your finger, finger touch. It's interesting. Yes. And what else? Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, this, the next question come up to this type of new form factor design. Essentially, people are going to ask, hey, where's my keyboard and how's the typing experience? Here I wanted, wanted to show you real quick is that simple as you put your both hands on top of the display, on the bottom display here, and it actually responded to your gesture and it actually knows what you want to do with the machine. So when you wait your palms, uh, put it on the, uh, the low LCD, the right. uh, virtual keyboard pop up. It's actually it has an intelligent touch engine built inside the system that has the intelligence to know what you're doing right now. So uh, I'm going to repeat this again. When you put your two hands on the screen, it actually just brings up the keyboard. That's like you, what you do with your physical keyboard type of experience. Okay. And since it is 14 inch full size, so you get a full experience of typing here on, on, on the screen. For example, I'm, I'm actually real quick doing the real typing here, and you just, for example, I can do like Tanya, demo, and everything is just typing just like the traditional tra 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 typing experience here. So it's quite an easy experience doing it, doing, doing the keyboard here. You really type, you really type on that, huh? Yes, exactly, and it's fast and accurate. Is there haptic feedback? At all? Is there haptic feedback? Uh, no, not actually feedback. It's a virtual keyboard. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, software keyboard based. Yeah. Right. The other thing is, on top of that, uh, regular experience using the you would display and touch. We're also featuring the uh, gesture recognition engine here to allow not just the keyboard gesture that I just showed, but on top of that, we are featuring more gesture to be enabled to display. For example, we have set up optimized tool that optimize for touch experience and also the dual display scenarios. So when I put a finger grab, uh, put my fingers, five fingers on the, on the display, it actually shows the Acer Ring user interface that has major application installed on the system that all the touch optimized. For example, like you can quick access to your video, your photo, music, and browsing experience are all integrated. For, so let me take a quick example of video viewing experience. So when you click on the touch video and it actually shows you the contents and videos that you have in your collection here. So you have a user interface here, you have the full list of what you have in your video collection and you can actually click any video and it, it uses the top display for, the, for showing the contents. So you one, at the one hand you have the full view of what your collections are and also on the other hand you have the video playback so we're over the, the top screen. And since it's a dual, dis, uh, dual panel display uh, design, so you have all the control buttons at, at the bottom panel here. You can, you can pause, you can adjust the volume, and do pause uh, fast forward, backward, everything on the bottom, just like the control panel experience. Okay, right. Good. Anything else? That's the yeah, other that shows us. Yeah, exactly. We're talking about media consumption and internet experience. What we want to highlight here is one more thing: is what we have been optimizing for the internet browsing experience. We call it a touch browser. It's basically a full-featured uh, touch browser that uh, has been optimized uh, for touch experience. So you can see that when I launched touch browser, it, it had you leverage two screens for the content display. So you can scroll that contents like that. You can use your fingers, multi. Uh, multi-touch gesture adjusted and more about that is actually when you uh, how you can engage with the content for example I have the threads I'm very interested in this news headline every day I'm watching it every day in the morning so what I can do here is we have a subscription type of function that you can crop the contents for example I do a crop here so it shows an area that you're interested in on the, on the website and you click that and you can subscribe it and put it to my journal. 
and it shows my journal here has a collection of whatever the things that you have already subscribed. So when you come to the My Journal page and you have the full list of the things from the internet in real time that you have the best interest in. Wow, interesting. Yeah, so it's providing a more uh, direct engaging experience for, for users and the machines to allow the user really to use the finger to actually interact with the system. So let me say this way, so you can have extended uh, paging uh, for the uh, two uh, screens. Yes, and exactly. it also has a snapshot of the uh, that's a sub paragraph you want, and you can move the cut and paste with uh, merging with other documents together. Exactly, it's all arranged and also touch optimized. Okay, thank you very much.